We're Eamon and Beck, and this is our Tiny Home on Wheels Trinity. Over the last two and a half years, we've traveled around the world at two speeds, sleeping and go, go, go. And while this ever-changing horizon is certainly fun and exciting, it can also leave us feeling a little, well, burnt out. So when our van broke down on the island of Menorca, we took it as a sign that Trinity 2 thought it was time we slowed down. Good morning, everybody. It's about 8 a.m. and it feels like a beautiful day to fix Trinity. Come on, baby girl, I love you. No worries. Batteries seem good. Why don't you let it do its thing and cool? I did. Oh. It's not light. Nothing? I think I found the starter, buddy. Okay. So someone recommended that you hit it with a hammer. <laughs> yep. Should I be starting the car while you do this or no? Uh, probably. Yeah? Can't really get much of a swing on it. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, yeah? No. Huh? Nothing. Bye, buddy. Bye, bud. I'm severely second-guessing this decision. I'm definitely gonna run out of battery. Okay, I got a ride from this gentleman, and uh, we're going to Mahone. So that is a huge win for me because I'll have a little bit of extra battery to explore the city. My Spanish is not so good, his English is not so good, but we're getting along just fine. I just met Jordan here, and unfortunately, he is busy for the next week, so he recommends continue down this road and find another garage. The mechanic's not here right now, but she's gonna give him a call and see what he thinks. Um, at least I get to charge the one wheel here. While Eamon's out trying to get a tow, I'm focusing on what I can control, which is cleaning this house. So I've just done all the dishes, the kitchen's looking amazing. Now I'm gonna tackle up here. With this guy, I got a nice picture. He's made it to ah, he's made it to Mahone, and he's still letting me know about our solar. He's all concerned because we're not getting much draw today. So we're ordering a tow truck here to pick me up and go back to the van to get the van to bring it here. She's been very, very helpful. Just heard from Eamon, we have a tow truck coming in one hour. So I'm going to clean each and every individual spice jar. If this is how I manage stress, I think that's good for life, cleaning. Really not sure if that's gonna look that impressive on camera, but wow. Clean the whole fridge inside. Whew. My savior. Hola. Hola. How are you doing? You know. Yeah. Our concern is some of these electrical cables are pretty low. See? Just. Really? that's going to work on our van is not on site and then they take a siesta from one till three so we won't have any news until three o'clock so Eamon and I are just gonna grab our computers and try to sit inside and use the Wi-Fi and do some work I'm trying to look on the bright side and I think every 
terrible thing has something to teach you and I think what this is teaching me is to slow down. I can be really, really like aggressive in filming and just working and even just this morning being able to stop and clean the spice jars and have nothing to do but do that was kind of really nice. So yeah, looking on the bright side. For breakfast we've got overnight oats with some seeds, nuts, and fruit. So in typical Spanish fast, fasting fashion, <laughs> Uh, we are on siesta break and we're not sure when that's going to wrap up or what time he's going to have access to have a look at the van. Uh, we are going to book ourselves into a hotel because we're not going to just sit here and twiddle our thumbs and get some work done tonight and then I need to be back here uh, at 8 a.m. to meet him again. I'm not really sure how that makes sense, but it makes sense, apparently. Anyway, so we will see you mañana por la mañana. That means tomorrow morning. Cheer up, Buttercup. I'm all good. Okay. Good morning, guys. I've had to get up early to meet the mechanic. It's a little bit cold here in the morning. Got Becca's crop top sweater keeping me warm. <laughs> Not a great start to the morning. I just got stopped by a police officer. He told me I couldn't ride this here in Mahon. But there's no way I'm carrying this one wheel half an hour to go get the van, so hopefully I don't run into him again. Stir in peace with some peace of mind. Sleeping in jeans, I'ma need a night. OD on a cheap advice. OC on a cheapest flight. Lately I've been on the move trying to get to something. But I told her I've been running just to see the sights. See the lights and they're not my type. So we chill with the brother if it's ice all white. But it's not. Am I living life in a box? Kennedy. Tell if it's a crisis or not. How are you, buddy? Coming off too long. What was that? Like was my bad. Grin is officially in their hands. He said he would email me around 1 o'clock today. But we're not going to sit around here twiddling our thumbs. We are going to get outside and rent a scooter and explore this island. So I got another 20 minute ride back to Beck, grab myself some breakfast, and let's go. I was waiting for you for the longest time and then That's I, okay. I haven't heard from you, so. How's your morning going? It's so great. They've got this interesting fruit. Guys, let me know if you know what it is, but it is cross, in my opinion, cross between a tomato and a mango. Very, very sweet. Also this morning, I woke up and I thought, I've lost my mind. I cannot find my white sweater anywhere. It's the only sweater I brought. Look who's wearing my sweater. Crop top. Got my own little barista over here. Let's see how we go here. <laughs> Not very good, but yeah, I've done better. We have got ourselves a wee scooter with some protection. And we actually just got an email from Tinto. Tito. Tito. And he says... The van is okay. The van is okay. I'll show you what the problem I'll is. I'll explain. So first stop? Tinto's. Tito! <laughs> you guys want to see the ride? Come on, baby, let's go. Oh, wow. Blanco. Hola, buenas. The car is okay. The car is okay? Yes. It is right in the car. The electrical system, they, uh, the, about contact. With the starter? The uh, engine start. Signal. Okay. okay. Signal. Okay. Direct battery. No. Uh, uh, a bad counter. Okay. Oh man. Hi, so Trent. I don't know if you understood that, but it's just a little tiny cable. I think we just assumed the worst because we've been through the worst with her. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Last night I was having so much trouble falling asleep because the last time our van didn't start, we needed to replace the entire engine. And the way Tito was talking two days ago had me really worried that like this was a big task. He was saying book a hotel for a couple of nights. I'm so grateful that it's not a big deal.
And the only big deal now is that we have a hotel and we would rather be sleeping in Trinity, but you know, we'll take the showers and the I'll scooter. Take the breakfast. And the free breakfast is so good. So we're gonna make the most of today. Our first stop on the Grand Tour is this cute little town with a bunch of white houses, but... You know when you just type in the town that you've heard of and then it just brings you to here? Yeah. That happens to the best of us. Well, good driving. Thank you. Turn right okay. and you'll see a little roundabout go straight over and it's just down there. Okay, perfect. So really Thank close. You. So we've made it into town and we're going to show you guys around. This is the main strip here with a few restaurants, supermercado. This is the doctor's office. You can withdraw money here. And you can rent a car here. Or a scooter. This one's our scooter. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny Becca. <laughs> can you guys hear that? Yeah, that's my flip-flop, sandal, shoe. And it's driving back mad. She is at the point where she doesn't even want me walking with her. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. I think you should just go barefoot. Pardon, amigo. Take those shoes off. <laughs> Let's get out of this town. Yeah. I'm not sure you meant to drive these things halfway across <laughs> the island. I feel like my body is stuck like this. But it was nice, no? It was awesome, but it was like highway just Nah. We're gonna go see what the best vegan fare this town has to offer us. Gotta we, tell we, you, buddy, we don't have no van. This hairstyle is quite, uh, quite interesting. This is the only way to go when you got long hair. See, I asked the chef. Okay. And the vegano. See. Si. It's available. Okay, perfecto. You want one or two? Uh, two. Para uno. I just asked now. He say yes, but I think no. No. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Gracias. Okay, well, we're making it work. Mushrooms, huevos, potatoes. <laughs> no, frijoles. frijoles. Um, I do not feel solid. I was just gonna say, I don't feel so good either, but we made the most of what we could eat. Yeah. And now we're gonna walk it off, so. I don't know how you eat healthy when you're out traveling. This is like one of the big things we miss about having the van. Totally. Is we would have cooked ourselves a delicious, healthy, nutritious lunch. But we're improvising here. So we're actually gonna pop into the supermarket and grab some snackers, because it's a bit of a walk to the beach. Hello. In Cala Galdana, where we are, there is a local beach, but we're thinking if we do this 40 minute walk, we might get lucky and have a beauty beach almost to ourselves. Buddy, who are you on the phone with? I'm just talking to <laughs> sister. Really? Yeah, she's in New Zealand. That's new. Yeah, I've got great international minutes. <laughs> Standing out on glacier lakes. Mirador. Mirador.
made it. What a cold drive. I feel like I haven't been cold like that in so long. True. <laughs> and not expected on the island here. Okay, I think we're gonna hop in the shower and then we actually stopped at a grocery store on the way home. We'll show you our little dinner date. Yeah, dinner date that we were able to make shift. Don't forget, we don't have access to our van, we can't cook, so we just got some takeaway food. Shower? Let's see, we've got some hummus, tabui salad, some bulgur salad, guacamole, some crisps, some crisps, and mora. Hey Nora, if you're a fan of the vlog, <clears throat> we'll happily have you at our wedding. I love this place. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. We just completed an in-hotel room workout and I think I'm feeling a little guilty for anyone who was trying to sleep underneath us. Good morning guys. We are just trying to figure out a bit of a logistic battle We've got to pack this place up, but we've got the one wheel and we've got the scooter. So why don't I just drop off the scooter and then keep the one wheel and then we can work here today and then I can one wheel to get the van and then we can go catch the ferry. I like this idea, senor, because I never want to leave this place. I'll be back. Okay. Amigos, we're home! As much as I loved our little stay in the hotel, there is no place like home. We made it home, the van is solid, and today we're actually, or tonight we're gonna treat ourselves and make a Thanksgiving feast. Yeah! Because we just missed Canadian Thanksgiving. I know a lot of you Americans um, have Thanksgiving coming up, so we haven't had a nice home-cooked meal in a while. And what are we doing, Beck? We're gonna go all out, make a lentil loaf with roasted carrots and potatoes with mushroom gravy. First heartbreak of Thanksgiving. <laughs> we ran out of gas. It's not like that big of a heartbreak because we do we did get another bottle, but it's just it's one of those chores that's kind of annoying. Toilet bait needs to be pulled out, and it just makes this corner. <laughs> God. But not too far because the P line is still hooked up. I'll get the gas bottle first. It's back here. Can you turn on the light? Yep. Oh, <sighs> bueno. This little bottle here usually lasts. What are we saying, a month or two? I know what you're all thinking. He cooks, check. He cleans the toilet, check. And he changes the gas. Wow, thank you, babe. He even pays for the gas. Pardon, amigo. <laughs> Woo! All that work for a little bit of fire? A little bit of flame. Okay, sweet potatoes, get cooking. <laughs> Right back at it, this guy. It doesn't even take a break. For the lentil loaf, we've cooked down some sweet potato, and I'm gonna mash that into the lentils. I'm gonna add some oats, um, some spices, some flavoring. We've got the potatoes boiling, and then I'm gonna quickly show you how to make a super easy, delicious mushroom gravy. In typical Thanksgiving fashion, we are leaving no pot unturned. <laughs> yeah. Every single dish is out right now. We are now going to put the uh, lentil loaf into the oven. 
Oh, I'm so excited! And we're gonna bake that and hopefully it gets crispy on the top because we're gonna base it with like a little bit of barbecue sauce. Ready? See? Mm. Okay, so yeah, realistically another 10 minutes would have yeah, gotten that, that like crispy. nice and charcoal. Yum! But I think that's pretty good. Delish! Let's have Thanksgiving, baby! Let's do it. That looks amazing. Whoa. Before diving into this dinner, I wanted to kick off the Thanksgiving festivities by saying I'm extremely grateful for the life I live, for the partner I have, for my family, for my friends, that they continue to support us while we're halfway across the globe. And for all of you guys, I am so, so very grateful. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, I'm also super grateful for the life we're able to live, the food we're able to make, the friends we're able to meet, and if you guys were here, I would have pulled up a plate for you as well. <laughs> oh God. First of all, I am not exaggerating when I say that it was a bit of the, the, ask me again. That's okay. Ask me again. People like it when you screw up like that. Please ask me again. I just wanna 